Hello everyone, when I bought Aerofly 8, I wanted to see if it was possible to learn how to fly properly and especially land without crashing. And here we can see me, this is actually a recording of me when I was probably four or five hours in learning how to land and this is without flaps. So as you can see, I did manage, but it was rather tough. I did fly before on a uh, couple of foam jets, one of which had a safe technology which prevented me from uh, crashing but it was really very difficult and uh, this will give you more training than just 10 minutes on a on a jet temporarily you know or on any trainer for that matter so the most challenging part of, of flying is landing and as you can see here i have about 20 hours of practice and uh, i'm able to land quite easily and uh, learn to taxi and all that I will show you one that is a 3D field, so this one, let's do uh, the Wild West one. Uh, there's a good selection, by the way, this is the base game. Um, the only thing I would be ready to complain about is the uh, choice of uh, foam jets is non-existent, in fact. But for the rest, it's fairly realistic. and. Um, with my training, I'm actually able to fly upside down without a problem. I'm able to uh, do loops if I want to. And the challenge here is not to lose your orientation on the map. And I'm going to put out my flaps in my wheels and land. This is a totally new situation. I haven't flown a specific pattern to land or anything, which I usually would. But let's see if we can get this. So. I'm adjusting my throttle according to what I need to to stay as horizontal as possible. I don't want to land early. Okay. Now we're above the runway. And yeah, we're we're having a hard time, but I'm getting there. And there we are. And that's with an airplane that I'm not really used to. The only thing that has uh, I have noticed is, is not very realistic is I'm not able to tip stall. So I don't know which airplane... Did I happen to fly an unlucky airplane and just tip stall on that airplane that I decided to buy? Or is this a property of all airplanes and does Aerofly not have it? I'm not sure. I, I tend to think the latter. Keep in mind, I don't fly this airplane very much, but see how how well I've learned to control it, actually, <laughs> for, uh, for having only played a few hours. All right, it's time for a test. I'll do a full flight in an aerobatic airplane, and we'll see if I'm ready for this. Before going, let me go over a few things to know. You can move the airplane around to where you want to go. So let's say I want to go here. You can zoom in and zoom out, and that'll zoom your view in and out with your scroll wheel. In fact, let me do that because it'll the position will come out better on video. And you can also set the wind. Let's select windy. There are also a few extras, so you can do spot landing, you can do a limbo contest. In fact, let me just turn this on to show you kind of what it'll what it'll do. It, gi it gives you a target to land on. Okay, and there are little modules that you can turn on and off. Here, I'm let I'm leaving my radio on so you can see it, but I could show other controls. Let me just show probably this the speed. Sounds good. So let's start. Throttle up, and uh, well, already you can see <laughs> I've taken off quite quite fast because it's an aerobatic model, and this is not one I've been practicing with. So this is a bit like if it were a new model to me, this is how it would feel like. Let's do a quick pass, and in fact, I'm feeling adventurous. Let's do a loop, so I'm going full send it, and uh, should be able to do a loop no problem because it's an aerobatic airplane after all. Now let's uh, fly inverted, so let's do that. Let's do a quick circuit. I'm at maximum speed around the course, or in front of the course, whatever. I don't want to spend too much time doing this lest I not entertain you by anything interesting. Let's do an upside down loop. All right, I think we've proven our prowess upside down. Let's go forward. Let's do a couple of spins. Now I'm spinning towards the ground, almost crashed. All right, so let's go for a land. 
for a land. Let's go for a landing. One thing that might help us here is to uh, have a uh, more zoomed out view. So what I'll do is, um, and oh, there's no more time remaining. That's going to be an issue. I won't be able to show you anything. See if I can land within 10 seconds. Okay, five, four, three, two, and I hit the ground. So I guess that kind of shows and proves that you can actually learn to fly with Aeroflat 8. A question that people have is, can you play with a controller? And the uh, answer is, yeah, absolutely you can. One thing that completely got me though, is how to set up my channels because uh, right now we're calibrating. So that's no problem. You follow the instructions, you move all the channels that you have, and you can see that they're calibrated correctly. And then you go next, and then it says center all controls. But what you want is to have your throttle centered, in quotation marks, towards the bottom. Because otherwise you're gonna center at 50% and going down the throttle will actually increase the throttle until you reach the center, which is zero, and then the throttle will increase there until you reach the top, which is 100%, which doesn't make any sense. You want it to be zero at the bottom and 100% at the top. So you center your throttle at the bottom. That gives a pretty good overview of the game and what it can do and what you can learn in about 20 hours. And I just wanted to say, Aerofly 8 is a perfectly balanced game with no exploits at all. <laughs>